January the 25th, 2011, the Arab Spring spreads to Egypt with a day of rage. Freedom! And we're going to take our freedom! We saw something I've never seen before, a phalanx of men on horseback and on camels, and they charged through from the pro-regime side directly into the opposition. After 18 days of violence, celebrations as it was announced President Hosni Mubarak's 30-year rule had come to an end. President Mohammed Hosni Mubarak has decided to step down as president of Egypt. The military assumed control of the country and Egyptians began to vote on their future. Within a month, they'd overwhelmingly approved a referendum to amend the constitution, limiting presidential terms to four years. In November, parliamentary elections were held, with Islamist parties ultimately winning about 70% of seats. Next came the historic presidential election. It was held in May 2012, and the Muslim Brotherhood's Mohamed Morsi was finally declared the first freely elected president on June the 24th. But within six months, Egyptians were once again back on the streets after their new leader issued an order preventing courts from overturning his decisions. President Morsi later reversed his decree, but the damage was done with his opponents accusing him of betraying the Egyptian people. Amid the political instability, the country's economic situation also worsened, and opposition voices grew louder culminating in mass protests on June 30th this year, the first anniversary of President Morsi's win in the election. <laughs> Their calls for a snap presidential election won the support of the military, which three days later ousted Morsi from power. <laughs> but supporters of the Muslim Brotherhood leader have defiantly remained on the streets in protest, demanding he be reinstated. And now some of his supporters are talking about the possibility of war. After six weeks of ongoing unrest, Egyptian security forces have now moved in on the makeshift camps of pro-Morsi protesters. The crackdown resulting in more bloodshed in a country still battling for political and economic stability. Two and a half years since it first rose up, demanding democracy. Becky Anderson, CNN, Abu Dhabi.